hey, it's uh, Beetle J, and uh, I hope you're having a Beetle Day. So I was out at the uh, Cordis Flea Market today, and uh, well, I picked up uh, Sergeant Peppers. But uh, I've got a few copies of Sergeant Peppers, but this one's a little bit rare. It's a Canadian issue on marble vinyl. And uh, this is my first uh, colored vinyl, excuse me, no, I've got uh, red vinyl for um, 62 through 66. But uh, Sgt. Pepper's, it was a uh, gatefold album. There's the back there. Uh, released in 1967 in both mono and stereo uh, in the United Kingdom on, on the Parlophone label and uh, that's with uh, yellow lettering. Uh, I've also got an 80s, this may have been issued in the 80s, Immortable. Also got an 80s issue here on the black rainbow label. Now the black rainbow label was used by Capital in the 60s and uh, it was uh, brought back in the 80s when they started doing the reissues. Now you can really tell uh, an 80s pressing from a 60s pressing quite easily. Uh, it's all one piece on the 80s pressing. On the um, 60s pressings they actually they actually paste it on the front cover and you can you can see with the seam in that. But, uh, that is uh, my 80s version, and I've also got the uh, 50th anniversary picture disc there, and that's sealed, and it, it will remain sealed until I sell it sometime down the road. But anyways, uh, uh, that's my uh, three collection of Sergeant's Peppers, and uh, on to the voiceover to tell you a little bit about the history of Sergeant Peppers. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is the Beatles' eighth studio album. It was released in the UK May 1967 and in the US of A June 1967. It uh, spent 27 weeks at number one in the UK album charts and 15 weeks at number one in the US album charts. The uh, record won four Grammy Awards in 1968 including album of the year and this was the first rock LP to receive the honor. In August of 1966 the Beatles permanently retired from touring and uh, took a three-month holiday. During a return flight to London in November uh, Paul McCartney had an idea for a song involving a military band and this is the concept of the Sgt. Pepper album. Sessions began on the 24th of November at EMI's Abbey Road Studios with two compositions inspired by the Beatles Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. But after pressure from EMI the songs were released as a double A single and not included on the Sgt. Pepper album. The title track was recorded in February 1967. The cover was designed by British pop artists Peter Blake and Jan Haworth. It depicts the Beatles posing in front of a tableau of uh, celebrities and historical figures. This album was regarded by musicologists as an early concept album and incorporated a range of influence such as vaudeville, circus, music hall, avant-garde, Western and Indian classical music. This is regarded as the first art rock long play and is one of the best selling albums ever released.